so guys i'm in this buy trade right now and this is the first trade of the week and today is wednesday i didn't see a setup yesterday being tuesday so this is what the time is right down it's three something and also this is what it looks like on the forex funder account happy new week guys um let's see how it goes i hope it's a good one i want it to be a good one but you know you know the vibe risk manage everything manage regardless of how it goes we're still in I'll update you. I'll definitely update you on the trade. This is what it looks like. I lost the gold trade. It was up a little bit, but it came back and hit my full stop. But I closed before it hit my full stop, just like I always do. This is what I lost on the Forex Funder account. So this is what I lost. So you know the vibe. We'll go again another time. So there's one reason I lost this trade. I made one mistake. I said I was not going to go again. So let me show you. So if we go to the one hour time frame. If we go to the one hour time frame you're gonna see that this level was this consolidation box that i've been losing since that i stopped the trade i took outside the box win every trade i attempted outside the box was a win so today again i tried to take a trade inside the box and it still happened again so now fingers crossed but what i did was that i was looking for it to go to this support this was like two days high so i was thinking it was gonna go here then maybe sell from here that's why i took this trade but of course, when you make a mistake, the market is going to tell you immediately. And I've learned this one. Believe me, believe me when I say it now. I have not taken any trade inside this box again. I am done with all the trading inside this box. So as far as the market is inside the box, I'm not trading. What's funny is that yesterday, I didn't take a trade because it, because price was inside the box. So I didn't take a trade. I avoided a win. Actually, it was going to be a win. Yesterday being Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. But um, no cap. Let's see how it goes. Um, tomorrow we we'll check again. We we'll just hope the market. The market is actually dead right now. So we'll just see how it goes. But this February is gonna be a good month. I saw it in my dream. <laughs> we'll go again tomorrow. Look at what happened after this price hits my stop loss. Just, <laughs> just look at what happened next. After I finished with the stop loss, it went straight, exactly to this level where I pointed out in the one hour. So this is few minutes after the last clip crazy look at this good look at what the time is saying it's not even four o'clock yet crazy these are the things we see as traders <laughs> me i'm replacing anger now with laughter because the way you verse you know go see it's just funny it's just really funny so at the end of the day but i still repeat entering in this consolidation consolidation zone is one of the reasons why things like this happen because the market is in a trending phase it just goes straight it just goes straight you understand but either ways we'll go again tomorrow <laughs> it's going for the full take profit now you just smashed like just smashed my full take profit right now crazy ass thing <laughs> um, uh, it's not easy we'll go in again tomorrow let's go and catch you guys hello guys um today is thursday and today i want to talk about um that trade the first trade i took last week why? Because so many people are talking about it. So many people are saying I would have cut my losses. I'm sorry, I would have taken the trade. I would have done this and that. So today, let me just talk about it and the reason why I left it for you to come back to hit my breaking point. But before we do that, if you're just getting to my channel, like if you just saw these videos and you're wondering why, I am documenting from going from zero funding to about 500k in funding in one year. But the thing is, it's already like um seven months in already. But yeah, throughout the journey, I've really learned a lot. I've learned a lot. My trading has really transformed. It was almost like God wanted me to do this thing. And that's just what it is. I've learned a lot. Like, I'm on track. I'll put it like that. And also, I trade with the Forex Funder. If you're looking for a good profit on the trade with, I think you should choose the Forex Funder. Why? Because they are offering you one of the best, one of the best trading conditions here in our profit industry. So you just go use the link below and um, go to their website and get your account. And also, this discount code here can give you about a 50% off and also when you get funded when you get funded you're going to get a mesh from the forex funder which is amazing making you to be like connected to the community so if you think it's, if you think it's something you would like use the link below and go get your account right now the 100k account i trade on this channel is with the forex funder and you all see the spread how good it is and everything i've not had any issue any i've not really had any issue with them for real so i'm documenting it in li life it's not as if i'm lying or something i'm documenting everything live and also guys um for the trade this is the trade here so i'm in this buy right now on gold i'm in this buy right now on gold so this is what it's looking like on the forex funder accounts let's see how it goes so 
guys um, look at what the market is looking like right now and this one here look at the forex fund that it was up one percent already so um technically one percent um, and tp1 hits so let's see i'm still holding the trade of course let's see how it goes right now this market is consolidating in like um the one minute time frame let me just take it there so it's consolidating in the one minute time frame and i'm here i'm just talking it was so close to my take profit but i cannot close it if it's not in my take profit that's just what it is so um, this is what it is on the forex funder account so let's see i've been watching it since and what's funny is that there's a news by four o'clock it's just 10 minutes to that news but i'm still not going to close the market is going to do its thing i do not care it's what it is i've broken even that's the worst that can happen that is the worst that can happen so let's see how it goes no stress follow your plan everything on point it was like less than one peep from eating my take profit let's so guys um <laughs> crazy look what happened he came back and hit my stop so this is what i lost on the forex funder account and now this is it so many people saying a lot i'm gonna put some comments here on the screen a lot of people like this was what it was so see and i really understand the thing is i understand why everybody had something to say like for example okay when i was watching alex g doing his challenge and i saw him lost the 300 he took an account from $100 to $200,000 and lost it. I was really hot. I was really, really hot. So I really understand like you're following, you're following the journey and you see me doing something like it's really annoying. But this is the thing. This is the thing that, that, that's here to understand. I prioritize following my rules than winning a trade. I don't know if you understand what I mean. If you really like... If you're really at that point in your journey when you're when you're trying to write a rule and follow it or you're working on your psychology or trying to get better in trading not just winning trade you will understand what i mean you understand i prioritize following my rules than winning a trade which is very 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 important in trading why is this that trade is one trade out of a lot of trade i'm going to be taking in my, in my career it's just one trade out of a lot of trade i see this is the thing one trade one trade is not really like it's not really what is going to make you profitable i don't know if you understand like sometimes i see people posting posting and tagging me on on um, this thing on instagram telling me uh, using my strategy posting and winning a trade i do not post it sometimes on my story because i just understand that you winning a trade doesn't mean you're consistent or like it does not mean the strategy is that good you understand like i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say that is just how I feel. So it's just one trade out of a lot of trade. And what is blessed, what is good about the trade is that I followed my rules. What I do is that if I am more than I do not like to break even. To be frank, I don't like to break even. I do not like to break even. I don't like it. But what I do is that if I am up one and a half hour, I put my break even in profit. I put uh, my stop loss in profit just to cover up any loss. Like if the market was going to come down from there and I lost the trade, it will not be that. It will not be like. I didn't lose anything, I didn't make anything. That is how I like to see it. I like my trade to go to take profit direct. I don't like to follow it with the stop loss. Because if you've been watching the channel from the beginning, you will notice that I was doing something like that. But <laughs> I had a very high rate at the time, but it was not showing in the PNL. It was funny. So <laughs> so that's why I said I've really learned a lot. So the thing here is this I prioritize risk I prioritize following my rules than winning a trade. That is just what to understand and take away from this video. That's for me. I don't know about you. So so many people said we're saying things like you would have closed the trade after you saw consolidation is this. The question I'm here to ask is like how do you know the future? How do you know the future? <laughs> how do you know it was gonna end up like that? And the funny thing here is this you cannot avoid that thing that happened. You cannot really avoid it. No matter what you do, if you like adjust your strategy based on that very problem, adjust it to comforting that problem, you will not still avoid it. It always happens. It has been happening since the beginning of trading. The trade I took yesterday, you can see it. After I hit my stop loss, it went to take profit. You cannot still avoid that one. No matter what you do, you cannot avoid it. That's just how trading is. So guys, um, today is Thursday. I'll go to the chat later on and look for a setup to take. If I see anyone, we'll trade today. If I don't, we we'll go again tomorrow. And also, like and subscribe if you're enjoying this channel, if you're enjoying these videos. So far, I'm putting in a lot of work here, a lot of work. I try to edit videos every week and post on. I post it every Saturday. It's very, very hard to do, to be honestly frank.
and also I still post on my social media, I post on Facebook, sorry, I post on Instagram and TikTok and I do this once or twice or even twice a week, it's very very hard, you understand, so just support me by um, using the links below for my affiliate links and also liking and subscribing to the channel to help me grow, so um, let's go, I'll catch you guys. So guys, uh, <laughs> this week is the funniest, this week is the funniest week, so I didn't take any trade today, today is Friday by the way, and also yesterday Thursday, I did not take any setup. I didn't see any setup to take. My strategy did not work. I didn't see any setup. This was just testing. I was just checking out something. I did not see any trade to take. Nothing <laughs> crazy. But the reason is because the market is in this zone. It's in this zone I've always been seeing ever since. So the market is in this zone. So I like just like I said, I said I was not going to take any trade inside the zone again and that's just why i avoided the whole thing so there's been no good setup here there's just been no good setup i could not take any trade because nothing 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 was like in the condition i would have liked so the market is still inside this zone so i don't want to be involved in any trade inside this zone so this is the four hour time frame right now and this is going to give us a better view of the whole thing so this is the zone inside here. This one is just a bigger version, but this is a zone inside here. The market has been consolidating. If you look back, look at what gold looks like. It's not really been anything. It's been shit the whole time. So I couldn't take a trade. <laughs> it's funny because I just took only one trade this week. Funny. So that's what it is, guys. Um, the market condition is not the best. It's just not the best. So let's jump to the week summary. <laughs> let's go to the week summary. So guys, from next week, I'm going to be adding a new strategy to my playbook that I've been testing for a while now and um, note I am adding a strategy not changing a strategy and from what I have learned like this market to be honestly frank here I'm really really happy that this drawdown or this style this market condition came my way at this particular time because this time I'm so like I'm at a point in my trading where I'm really like I trade from a very logical point of view I'm not really attached to the money, the trades, nor anything like it. So because of this, because there's never been a time like this in my trading. Because of this, I've really been able to see the market from a very different point of like I see like I'm really seeing the market. I'm in a trade and I just tell myself, I know it is going to stop loss. Real time. I'm not forcing anything like I'm seeing it for real. I know it's going to stop loss. Logical, like clean. So I'm adding a new strategy to my playbook. And that strategy is a support and resistance strategy. Why am I adding it? Because the market is consolidating right now. And if the market is consolidating, the trend following strategy do not work. And what I what I trade now is a trend following strategy. That's why I find myself in more losses than wins. So for a support and resistance strategy, is the best thing for a trend, for a consolidating market condition. So that's what I'm going to, I'm going to be doing from next week. And I've been testing it the whole time. I'm testing it the whole time. And yeah, next week we'll just come back and kill the market. So. This is the piano for this week. I took just one trade and it was a loss. This is what I lost. And also, this is the account balance. So it is like, this week was the week I took the, the least trade. I took just one trade. <laughs> I'm not sure I can remember any week that I took only one trade. I'm telling you. It's funny, like, sitting on your hands and just being real to yourself and your craft. So, we'll go again next week, guys. We'll go again next week. There's no need to make this clip too long. We're going to come again next week and we're going to do our thing. We'll try to kill the market. So next week is going to be a little bit different. Adding a new strategy. I've been testing it for a while though. Like the support and resistance thing. So I'm adding it. When the market is consolidating, that's what I'm going to be using. When the market is trending, that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm doing this because like I've looked at so many big traders. Not just on our online space. Also from books I've read. You understand? You go and read a book like the playbook and you understand what I mean. They don't trade one strategy. I don't know if you understand so they have their playbook they have more than one strategy to fit into the market conditions that we have the market is either trending it's either in an uptrend downtrend or consolidating and all these market conditions the market behaves differently your strategy that works on an, on an uptrend might not really work well on a downtrend talk less of a consolidating market it's funny but it's truth this is how trading is trading one very important thing with trading and technical analysis and everything the market has conditions like this there are market conditions that these conditions change sometimes the market is trending sometimes it's consolidating so i knew these things since but it's really becoming very obvious right now and it's now i'm really putting in the energy to change it to make it work 
You feel me? So let's see how it goes, guys. Next week is gonna be a great week. I catch you guys. Peace. Hope you have a great weekend. Great weekend. And I hope you also made money in trading this week because I didn't. <laughs> so let's see how it goes, um. I catch you guys.